So I'm here with James in the Wellington Inspire Group office and I wanted to throw him a bit of a curveball question because recently life has thrown him a curveball. Uh, when you were taken out on your bike, I know you were a very keen cyclist, you were taken out on it, it kind of interrupted your whole life for probably three to four months and mm. ongoing. Mm, mm. And I know you've been on a real journey with that because not only was it incredibly scary, um, potentially life-threatening yeah. in the moment, it's also taught you a lot, I think, about your own inner journey, the inner strength, and how you've dealt with kind of your life being taken away from you for a good mm. three or four months. Would you like to just share wow. a couple of things that have helped you yeah. come through that? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I mean, and, and here's something straight away. You can see the tattoo there, which yes. is my, my bike there. And that was one of the things that happened as a result of that accident. So I've written about this quite a bit, but I had quite a serious bike accident about four months ago and broke over 10 bones. And it, and it was a, you know, a very life-changing event, came out of nowhere. And I was just about to train and prepare for a major event in the UK, 1600 kilometer ride. I was prepared for it. It was two years in the planning. So that obviously changed straight away. And I think what it taught me is, it's a cliche, but you know, you, you go along with your life and it seems very busy and, and planned and then something just interrupts it and changes everything in the moment. And um, it's hard to see the positives, perhaps in those situations right at the beginning. But actually, as I thought about it, I got enforced time at home. I travel a lot. I'm back and forth to Asia all the time. So actually, my youngest son said, this is good. This is good, Daddy, because you're not going to go away for four or five weeks. That, that was a nice thing. Uh, I had all sorts of messages and visitors, people I hadn't seen for a long time. So there's lovely positives around that as well. Um, you get to kind of understand what you mean to people, which is quite interesting as well. Um, but one of the things I'm working on right now, and I'm in the middle of this, is, is I'm working on forgiveness as well, which is quite an interesting mm. concept. Uh, understanding of why that happened to me and why, and why that particular driver hit me, uh, and then working on forgiving as well. And, and also just working on sharing that story. And when we do our work as we do here in Australia and Asia with, with leaders and learners all over the place, we talk about the power of conversation and the power of sharing and the power of the whole person at work. So I'm trying to model that by example. It's not easy. It's a bit of a journey every day. But um, but yeah, you know, we we it also puts in context what we moan about and the things we moan about and the stresses and strains and emails and messages and all these things. You spend a few days in hospital after a serious accident. It does put that stuff in perspective. But um, and it makes you appreciate the immediacy of life and yeah, living in the present moment. Yeah, it does. And it, it also makes me realize how much I love cycling still as well. So Yay, <laughs> me too. So I'm back on the bike and, and, and how important those things are for our mental health as well and how important it is to talk about that. So that's probably something I'll share a little bit more of in a, in a future film as well about the journey I'm still going through on that healing. But um, what I've learned overall is to count my blessings and to actually talk about this stuff as well. It's pretty important. Thanks for asking that. Thank you for sharing.